Hey there, welcome to Like Chatting with a Friend Reviews and today we're chatting about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. This movie stars Freya Allen, Kevin Durant, and William H. Macy. I was like, oh that's the girl from The Witcher, okay, Siri done grown up, okay. I actually saw this movie, if y'all haven't seen my The Fall Guy review yet, the same day as that movie. And I was actually going to the theater to see this one first. Like I was more excited for this one, but The Fall Guy took the cake. But I'm gonna try my best not to compare the two, even though I saw them both on the same day, because they have nothing to do with each other. So, okay. So this is the fourth movie in the Planet of the Apes, I guess you could say new franchise or whatever from Caesar. And I had to go back and watch the other three movies because I couldn't really remember my I know I saw the first two I hadn't seen the third one at all so I would rank them when I watched the first three in order like the first one was first the second one was second and the third one was definitely third I didn't really care for that one too too much and I don't know where I would fit this fourth one in I guess I would put it in third place and put the third one in fourth place yeah the first one still reigns supreme for me the second one I don't know the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes might be tied actually. I might like the second one and the fourth one kind of equally. The Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes had a little bit more action in it. So I guess I will put this one second. I don't know. But anyway, let's get to this movie. The Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes had me stressed. Like I said, it has way more action than the other ones. Well, I want to say um, the war one obviously had action in it because it was at war, right? But this one kind of raised it up a little bit higher than that. It was actually kind of scary for me. I think that might be why I'd, uh, I'm kind of like, ooh, on it because I'm real soft. Like, S-O-F-T, soft. S-O-F, capital T, soft. And so I don't, I don't care for the scariness. But it was a decent movie. It showed the aftermath of Caesar's death and how the apes adjusted to life without him as their leader for several generations. We also see how a message can be interpreted in multiple ways and how the message can be twisted. Will we see more humans in the fifth installment? One thing I did learn was eagles are petty. At least in this movie, the eagles are petty. I was like, ooh, these are some petty eagles. I don't blame them, but I'm just saying eagles in this movie very petty and another thing i learned is yeah no new friends y'all no new friends if this movie don't teach you nothing else no new friends the look of the movie was really good i liked how it showed how pretty earth could be if humans didn't exist i was like dang that is such a damning indictment on us like it is so pretty green and lush what what y'all trying to say so I love that look of it, but the look when the apes were actually on screen, I don't know. It just kind of looked green screeny to me. So I didn't care too much about that, but I mean, again, that's kind of a nitpick. It still looked good. There were a couple of moments where I was just like, okay, y'all can speed this up. Like maybe, yeah, I'll give them an hour 55, but I don't think it really needed a full two hours and 25 minutes. An hour 50 probably would have been perfect. I am curious to see what they do going forward had it been me the humans would have been done for i would have been like them birds super petty so this movie was cool i think just for me because i'm so scary i didn't enjoy it as much as i enjoyed the fall guy i was a little stressed at moments i think i even jumped in one of the scenes i'm too much i know have y'all seen it is it just me or was it kind of a little bit scary it was just me wasn't it i'm okay that's fine i'm cool with it but anyway Y'all tell me what y'all thought, please. I would love to hear it. And until next time, let's chat, friends.